It was nice of you to come along and keep Dennis company, Gina. No problem, Mrs. Mitchell. Come along, Dennis. We mustn't keep Aunt Evelyn waiting. Oh, gee, do I have to? Yes, you have to. Something wrong, son? There sure is. Would you walk around in public wearing this wimpy outfit? You're asking someone who's dressed like an organ grinder's monkey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, Gina. A revolving door. I just love those things. <laughs> Kids, they sure know how to have fun. <laughs> Where's Aunt Evelyn? She said she'd meet us on the main floor. But where? It's so large. Paging Mr. Barton. Please, Please come, come to the, the reception, reception desk. desk. I'll get her for you. Paging Aunt Evelyn. Please, Please come, come to the reception desk. desk. Psst, you're looking for Aunt Evelyn? Yeah. You know where she is? <laughs> you're quite a kidder. <laughs> Here's the message. What do you suppose this is? Yoo-hoo! Oh, Dennis! There you are, my darling little mouth. Oh, there you are, Aunt Evelyn. I see Dennis found you. When you're as big as she is, it's kind of hard not to. Uh, uh, I'm simply starving. Let's chat over lunch, shall we? What a splendid idea. How could you be so stupid as to give that kid the secret message? Well, how should I know he wasn't our contact? He gave the right code, Boyd. Aunt Evelyn. Well, we've got to get it back. One way or the other. Thanks for lunch, Aunt Evelyn. Mom, can we have some quarters? You never know when you'll run into some video games. Allow me, Alice. I simply love spoiling my nieces and nephews. Gee, thanks, Aunt Evelyn. It's my pleasure, darling. Mm. Okay, let's get that kid. A waiter. Huh? More coffee, please. Great. They fell for that waiter's outfit you're wearing. Er, uh, <laughs> coming right up, madam. What are you doing? Oops. Uh, uh, sorry, madam. <laughs> Honestly, the service in this hotel has deteriorated terribly. Wow, look at that. A swimming pool for lobsters. Boy, there's a really ugly one. Do you suppose they'd sell me one for a pet? Oops. It rolled away. I have no idea, but I'm glad that for once Dennis isn't involved. Wow, an Olympic-sized banister. Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah! That's it, you little brats. I'm waiting for you. Yeah! Ah. Now that's what I call service. Hey, what happened to the other doorman? I'll ask the questions from now on. So, you want to play games, eh? Oh, boy, they want to play games with us. This hotel really is neat. Let's play hide and seek. They mustn't get away. Rat. What floor are you going to press? All of them. That way they'll never find us. Code in third. Have been security cleared for top secret sub level. Ah! <laughs> 
Them before they wreck the entire operation. Try and find a light switch so we can see where we are. Here's one. Look, it's mm. that nice doorman. Mm. He's trying to tell us something. What happened to you, mister? I was kidnapped by two strange men. You've got to call the police. Okay, we're on our way. Idiots, how could you give the transmission code to the wrong person? Especially to a little kid. <laughs> it's a natural mistake, boss. He gave me the right code name. Some kind of code? Without that code, we can't tap into the television networks and transmit our brainwashing signals. Brainwashing? I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of anything that's got to do with washing. I can see it now. The entire world. Obey my every command. I'll be the most powerful man on earth. <laughs> now find those kids. What a dingbat. That guy's got to be stopped. By who? Oh. You? Got him. Good work. Now get that code. Right, boss. Give up, kid. There's no place to run now. Ow! You leave my friend Dennis alone. Way to go, Gina. All round up me, Rustlers. trapped in here. Hmm, I never thought of that. How do we get out? Maybe we could send out a message on TV or something. How do we do that? I'll try using the secret code. Maybe something will happen. Dennis, it's working! Quick, let's send out a message. Attention TV viewers. This is Dennis Mitchell. And Gina Gelati. We're trapped in the basement of the Ritzy Hotel. I can't understand where they could have disappeared to. Now, Alice, you know children. I also know Dennis. Why, Alice, you never told me that Dennis was a television star. What on earth? And please hurry. I can't hold the bad guys off forever. And they're getting real crazy. Bad guys? What bad guys? It's time to put an end to your interference. So I suggest you sign off. It's all over now. It's over, all right. For you. Kids. That was quick thinking, kids. Putting yourselves on television? Did you hear that, Mom? We were on TV. I know. We saw you. Yeah, but we didn't. I'm sure they'll run it on the 11 o'clock news. Big deal. We're not allowed to stay up that late. Well, maybe we'll make an exception. Just tonight. Yay, Mom! Way to go! Oh, my hey. brave, precious little nephew. Look at it this way, Dennis. It's better than being captured by bad guys. That's what we're doing. Dennis, Dennis, come back. 